difficult to, you know what I mean, to help you, to help, to help you guys make your mind in truth around what happened to our father. His silence negated what he had did because even though he knew, he decided, no, let me try and help these families find a level of closure. So whatever good he did was completely undone by the fact that he continued to lie about what he knew about the murders of the Tread of Four. Well, we were very saddened by the fact that uh, yet another apartheid criminal has died without ever having uh, been held accountable for his role in the murders of the Craddock Four. And we were so close uh, to getting the NPA to finally charge de Klerk. Uh, and then, uh, you know, this happened. Uh, so it's sad uh, that we couldn't get the answers that we thought we would from them. And he's now taken secrets about the murders of our fathers to the grave. The video means nothing to us, because when de Klerk was alive, he maybe once apologized for apartheid, but, uh, you know, and then he did so in that video again. So there was nothing new that he said. De Klerk in that video did not uh, accept or, uh, yeah, de Klerk in that video did not accept that apartheid was a crime against our humanity. Uh, and for that, I mean, you know, there was nothing new in it. And we just think that the video was just a form uh, in which de Klerk could try to whitewash his legacy and to get us to get distracted by, 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 by things that are not important instead of us talking about his legacy, which is a legacy of murder, a legacy of death, a legacy of pain, a legacy of harm that he brought onto black and brown and Indian bodies in this country. If the clerk is granted a state funeral, completely. Because then what are we saying about the lives that he ordered to be murdered in North Crest in Umtata? Well, I had a conversation with uh, my mother very briefly last night, and she was obviously quite disappointed at the fact that the clerk had now died and his death, meaning that he can't be held accountable uh, for the murders of my father and his comrades, but also for the fact that he's taken information about the murders of the Craddock Four to his grave. I'm sure over the next couple of weeks we will continue to, to engage on this matter. But what is certain and what my mother told me was that we need to continue to pursue the NPA and to ensure that they prosecute those uh, such as Adrian Flock, uh, Craig Williamson, Baron Duplessis, and Joffel van der Vestes, and among others that continue to be alive today, uh, to, to ensure that at least justice is served before they die too, much like the clerk, and take uh, their secrets about the Craddock Four murders to their graves.